Good morning. I told you I'd come out here and show you a few more of the hibiscus when they started blooming. And the little lime hydrangea is standing up beautifully. And it doesn't look like my bloom struck are going to bloom this year. Like I said, they got so many different cold snaps. I think that it uh, killed all my buds. These other hydrangeas are really growing, but the same with them. Those are ones that didn't do well in the ground, and I put them in pots and had them in pots last year, and they bloomed beautiful. But it doesn't look like they're going to bloom either unless they come in much later. But look how pretty the lamian is. And I know you just saw this the other day, but it's still looking good. We had about a half inch of rain yesterday. So that really helped perk everything up. But let's go down here to the hibiscus. So this one is the pink with the red center too. Just gorgeous and it's got a lot more buds on it. And this one here that was a white one, and the rain actually had beat its blooms off yesterday. There's another little lime, looking really good. And this one right here, it looks like it's the pink too, and it's got tons more buds on it. It's really getting tall. Like I said, everything is doing pretty good over here. This gets sun, but it gets a little more shade. And I think when you're having all those 90 some degree days, it really helps on that. But look how many blooms are on these. And they're really large blooms. And the poker plant, is still blooming too, which I'm surprised because usually they don't last that long. Hibiscus are just a, a wonderful plant. I see a nice weed in this flower bed too. This one is a huge bush and it's had lots of blooms and it's still got many more to come. I'm going to walk down through here just ignore the mess anywhere. I want to show you what we've been working on. Last week it liked to have killed us in that heat but we knew we had to get it done. We had two Nandinas that just were about dead The hacking chloro grass is really doing wonderful. But we had to, we had cut them way back and we had to dig them up. And the contorted filbert had just about died for some reason. I don't know whether you can even see it's so much sun right here. But we had to dig all this up, every bit of it. And it was the biggest root ball, probably two and a half feet wide and deep on that contorted filbert. It was horrible. So down here, well right there beside the Japanese maple, that's where one of the Nandinas was. And then the big spot right there was where the contorted filbert was. But we planted the marigolds out here because the deer don't like those. And we planted a couple bloom flowers. And down there where the daylilies were that the deers ate all the blooms off of. And then we planted two black-eyed Susans. And this crepe myrtle is blooming. Let me see if I can get over here. I can't ever remember the name of this one. Let's get down here and see if we can get the tag for you. It's 
called the berry dazzle dwarf crepe myrtle. The blooms are a little beat up, but it is a beautiful thing when it's doing well. All these Japanese anemones are going to be loaded with blooms, and you can see how tall the bloom is. <laughs> going to be gorgeous. But we've got a lot of work to do in here. I think I'm going to plant something like a hibiscus towards the back, but not close to the wall because this area gets so many weeds from next door. Because you probably can see they have no grass. It's all weeds. <laughs> so I want something that goes away in the winter time and early spring when we have so much cleaning to do with the leaves and all. So, uh, anyway, just wanted you to see what's going on there. And as we make more progress, I'll give you more updates. So have a wonderful day. We're supposed to get more rain this afternoon, and I'm praying we do because we really need it. So I hope you... If you're somewhere that's been so hot and dry, I hope you get some rain too. Love and blessings from me and John and baby boy. Till the next time, bye-bye.